Hi, in this video, I will tell you about another plugin from Retouch For Me series of neural based retouching plugins. The plugin is called Retouch For Me White Teeth. It makes the smiles in the photo snow white. I have several photos loaded to Photoshop. Let's see how the plugin works. I'm creating a copy of the layer, going to Filters menu, and launching Retouch For Me White Teeth plugin. You don't need to use high resolution mode here since the portrait is large. Here's the result. Here is a photo before and here is one after. Let's take a look at the plugin interface. There are two sliders here, brighten and whiten. Both sliders are set to 30 by default. Let's see what they do. Brighten slider brightens teeth. You can make teeth either even brighter or closer to an original look. Whiten slider adjusts whitening effect. If I move it to the right, the teeth completely lose their color and become neutral. Left position makes their color closer to the original. I click Apply. This is the photo before, and here is the result. You don't need to select anything manually. The neural network finds teeth in the photo all by itself. It often happens that after applying color grading to the photo, teeth also change their color. In this case, teeth become even more yellow than they were. Retouch For Me White Teeth can fix this. Here it is. It looks too bright, so I'm going to reduce brighten slider value. This is how the preview of the plugin looks like. These are the zones in the photo that the plugin found and processed. If you tick on Create Mask checkbox after applying the plugin, you will only have the area that was retouched. Therefore, you need to create a copy of the layer like I did. This is what it looks like. Here's the result, before, after. Let's take a look at how the plugin works on a family portrait. Here, people occupy a small part of the frame, so it is better to use high resolution mode to make it easier for the plugin to look for teeth in the photo. Okay, done. Let's see the preview. The photo itself is warm, so I'm going to make teeth's color closer to the original so they can become warmer. Here is a photo before. Here is one after. Let's see how it looks at 100%. Before, after. The teeth are retouched very accurately despite the fact that this area of the photo is out of focus. To speed up the processing, you can select the area of the photo and run the plugin. It is a winter portrait, so I'm going to whiten teeth even more and make them brighter. Here is before, here is after. I click Apply. Compare before, after, before, after. Also, Retouch For Me plugins do a great job with group portraits. In this case, the image was taken to be uploaded to photo stocks and it must be flawless. It takes much more time to process teeth in such photographs. But everything worked out great. Here's before, here is after. Before, after. Here is the result. Before, after. Please note that Retouch For Me White Teeth plugin only works with color and brightness. It doesn't retouch teeth in the literal sense of the word. If the teeth have braces, noticeable cavities, or they are missing, after using the plugin, these defects will remain. High resolution checkbox is not necessary here. Here is the original image, and here is the result. I will make smile a little brighter. The plugin didn't remove the braces, but in any case, in the after photo, the smile looks better. I'm going to show you a couple more examples. I'm selecting the face and launching the plugin. Before, after. I'm going to reduce the brightness and bring the color closer to the original. Let's see at the 100% scale. Before, after. Before, after. If you have a full-length portrait, the high-resolution checkbox should be checked. 
especially if you are doing batch processing. Let's see the preview. The teeth were found. I will make them a little brighter. Okay, great. Here is the photo before, and here is one after. That's all. I hope you will like Retouch For Me White Teeth plugin. You can download the demo version from retouch4.me website. You will see how it works with your photos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned. Bye everyone.